Hi, everybody. In today's lecture, I'm going to prove a relationship that we're going to use later in our derivation of the um, distribution function for bosons and fermions. And this comes from uh, Schroeder's Thermal Physics, chapter seven, and this is part of problem six in that chapter. So it says that, Prove that when a system is in thermal and diffusive equilibrium with a reservoir, the average number of particles in the system is given by n bar, which is equal to kT over z times partial of z with respect to mu. Now here, n is the number of particles, n bar stands for the average number of particles, the bar over the top signifies an average. K is Boltzmann's constant, T is the temperature, z is our grand partition function, and mu is the chemical potential. Now, in a previous lecture, which you should watch if you haven't already seen, the grand partition function is defined as the sum over all the Gibbs factors here, okay? And so the Gibbs factors um, are given by um, e to the minus exponential little e to the minus e minus mu n over kt. Now here I'm using little n as the number of particles in a state. Okay, so that's the number of particles in the state S and big N is the total number of particles. Okay, so that's my notation for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and then uh, plug in to this um, expression KT over Z partial Z with respect to mu and see what we get. Okay, here we go. So KT over Z, I'm gonna leave that part of it alone for now, okay? I'm not gonna expand the partition function that's outside of the partial. And then I'm going to take my partial derivative over my Gibbs factors. That means that the partial moves inside the sum, okay? So you have the sum over all the states of the partial with respect to mu of your Gibbs factors. So that's e to the minus E minus mu little n over kt, like so. Okay, so we know how to take the partials, uh, partial derivatives of the exponentials. It's actually not too bad. So when you take the derivative in an exponential, you get the exponential back again, and then times the derivative of the exponent. Okay, so here we're taking the derivative with respect to mu. Now the stuff that's multiplying mu inside of the exponent is n over kt. Okay, so that means that what we end up with is the kT over z outside of our summation again. And then we have uh, n over kT and then times our Gibbs factor again. Like so, okay. Now that one over kT that multiplies the Gibbs factor multiplies every single term inside the sum. And so that means that we can pull that kT out and then when we pull that kT out, it cancels out with the other kT that's already outside, outside of the summation term. So that means that we have one over our partition function times the sum over all the states of the number of particles in each state little n times e to the minus e minus mu n, oops, little n, getting my n's mixed up, over kT. Okay, now we can pull that other z. Remember our partition function is just a constant once we finish the summation. So we can pull that inside of our sum. So that's the sum over all s of n times our Gibbs factor e to the minus e minus mu n over kt over our partition function, our grand partition function z. Now this expression that I have here um, the summation over all the Gibbs factors divided by the partition function or grand partition function, that gives us the sum of all the probabilities of each state. And so that's the sum over S of N times the probability of the state. So what we're doing is we're summing over the number of particles per state times the probability. And that is the definition of an average. So that gives us the average total number of particles once we finish our summation, okay? So I hope you um, understood that. I hope it made sense. We're gonna use this um, expression once we uh, get more into the distribution function for fermions and bosons, okay? See you in class.